Solving quadratic equations by extracting square root. First, write the equation in the form x squared equals k. Second, apply the square root property. Third, solve for x. Square root property for any real number k. If x squared equals k, then x equals plus or minus square root of k. If k is greater than 0, then x squared equals k has two real solutions. x equals positive square root of k or x equals negative square root of k. If k equals 0, then x squared equals k has one real solution, x equals 0. If k is less than 0, then x squared equals k has no real solution. Example, x squared equals 9. The equation is already in the form x squared equals k, where k is greater than 0, meaning there are two solutions. So, x is equal to the positive square root of 9 or the negative square root of 9. x equals 3 or x equals negative 3. Let's check whether both values of x satisfy the given equation. For x equals 3, is 3 squared equal to 9? 9, 9 equals 9. For x equals negative 3, is the square of negative 3 equal to 9? Yes, 9 equals 9. Both values of x satisfy the given equation. So the equation is true when x equals 3 or when x equals negative 3. Another example, x squared minus 1 equals 0. To solve for x, write in the form x squared equals k. Add 1 to both sides of the equation. x squared equals 1. Now we have an equation of the form x squared equals k, where k is greater than 0, meaning there are two solutions. The next step is to find the square root of 1. x equals 1 or x equals negative 1. For x equals 1, is the square of 1 minus 1 equal to 0? Is 1 minus 1 equal to 0? Yes, 0 equals 0. For x equals negative 1, is the square of negative 1 minus 1 equal to 0? Is 1 minus 1 equal to 0? Yes, 0 equals 0. Both values of x satisfy the given equation, so the equation is true when x equals 1 or when x equals negative 1. Another example. The square of x minus 4 equals 100. The equation is already in the form x squared equals k. Since k is greater than 0, there are two solutions. x minus 4 equals square root of 100 or x minus 4 equals negative square root of 100. So x minus 4 equals 10 or x minus 4 equals negative 10. Using addition property of equality, x equals 14 or x equals negative 6. Let's check. For x equals 14, is the square of the quantity 14 minus 4 equal to 100? Is the square of 10 equal to 100? Yes, 100 equals 100. For x equals negative 6, is the square of the quantity negative 6 minus 4 equal to 100? Is the square of negative 10 equal to 100? Yes, 100 equals 100. Both values of x satisfy the given equation. So the equation is true when x equals 14 or when x equals negative 6. Another example, the equation is ready in the form x squared equals k, where k is greater than 0, meaning there are two solutions, 2x minus 1 equals positive square root of 9 or negative square root of 9. At this point, separate the plus or minus into two equations and simplify each individually. 2x minus 1 equals 3 or 2x minus 1 equals negative 3. Add both sides by 1, 2x equals 4 or 2x equals negative 2. 
divide both sides by 2, x equals 2 or x equals negative 1. Let's check. For x equals 2, is the square of the quantity 2 times 2 minus 1 equal to 9? Is the square of the quantity 4 minus 1 equal to 9? Is the square of 3 equal to 9? Yes, 9 equals 9. For x equals negative 1, is the square of the quantity 2 times negative 1 minus 1 equal to 9? Is the square of the quantity negative 2 minus 1 equal to 9? Is the square of negative 3 equal to 9? Yes, 9 equals 9. Both values of x satisfy the given equation, so the equation is true when x equals 2 or when x equals negative 1. Another example. Write in the form x squared equals k by adding 25 to both sides of the equation. The resulting equation is the square of the quantity 2x minus 3 equals 25. Next, apply the square root property. 2x minus 3 equals positive square root of 25 or negative square root of 25. At this point, separate the plus or minus into two equations and simplify each individually. Add 3 to both sides of the equation. 2x equals 8 or 2x equals negative 2. Divide both sides by 2. x equals 4 or x equals negative 1. Another example. Write in the form x squared equals k by dividing 3 to both sides of the equation. The equation is the square of the quantity x minus 4 equals 169. Next, apply the square root property. x minus 4 equals positive square root of 169 or x minus 4 equals negative square root of 169. At this point, separate the plus or minus into two equations and simplify each individually. To isolate x, add 4 to both sides of each equation. The answer is x equals 17 or x equals negative 9. Another example. Write in the form x squared equals k. The expression on the left side of the equation is a perfect square trinomial which can be written in the form square of a binomial. Next, apply the square root property. 27 is not a perfect square but we can factor it with 1. 27 is equal to 9 times 3. At this point, separate the plus or minus into two equations and simplify each individually. The answer is x equals 3 times square root of 3 plus 1 or x equals negative 3 times square root of 3 plus 1. Another example. The equation is already in the form x squared equals k where k is equal to 0, meaning it has one solution and in this case x equals 0. Let's check. For x equals 0, is the square of 0 equal to 0? Yes, 0 equals 0. Another example. Write the equation in the form x squared equals k by subtracting 4 to both sides of the equation. The equation is x squared equals negative 4. Note that k is less than 0 and there is no real number when squared gives negative 4. So the answer is no solution.